Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I just wanted to do an update on the video I did a month ago, which was a tutorial on how to germinate giant sequoia and coastal redwoods. I'll put a link in the description below if you want to check out that video and watch how to do it. Now I ran a little experiment on these seeds and I actually deliberately stratified them at the wrong time of year and germinated them in autumn when they should be germinated in spring. And now we're one month into winter and I've got a little microclimate to get them through the cold patch. And I really want to see how they do with a longer growing season. So that's what I'm testing out right now. And so as you can see on the screen there, I'm just cutting out the sequoia that survived. Here they are now. Um, and I'm just making room on my heat map because I have a very exciting video coming out and I'm going to be propagating a very, very rare tree species that I was able to get some cuttings for. So I'll talk about the results of this experiment in a little bit for the giant square and the coastal redwoods, but I just want to quickly show you how I keep my microclimate. So basically, as you can see here, I just have a heat mat and that's just on a towel on the ground. And this is located right next to a very large glass door, so it gets maximum amount of light without being exposed to the cold winter temperatures. Then at 3 p.m. these grow lights turn on and will stay on until 10 p.m. And this allows it to have that full length of sunlight, just like in summer. Our winters definitely are not as bad as a lot of places around the world. A cold day for us would be, you know, 10 degrees Celsius but the house is always kept nice and toasty around 18 to 22 degrees Celsius thanks to this beautiful fire I've got going on all throughout winter time, which is only around three months for where I live. Now I planted about 28 giant sequoia seeds and six germinated and two died pretty quickly after germination. And with the coastal redwood, I planted about 30 seeds and Three came up, but they died pretty quickly. So I don't really think they like to be germinating this time of year, but I know the process I do works really well. So I've actually got another batch stratifying in the fridge now, and I'll germinate them in spring during the right time of year. Hopefully they all survive the winter. And if so, I'll be planting them in a few different spots. I have some friends who are very interested in these trees. so. I'm going to be germinating more for them as well. Very exciting. And one day, hopefully they'll become the spectacular trees that we know they are. If you made it this far, thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for a very exciting video coming out in the next few days. It's the one I'm most excited about. And I'll catch you next time. Cheers.